Hi friends and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the best beginner classes for you to get started in PvP. Now I want to preface this by saying that easy to play does not mean easy to master. This will also be from a 3v3 team deathmatch perspective. And as always guys, a like and sub with the bell notification on is always appreciated. And remember you can always catch me here on the channel live or on Twitch if you have any more questions as well as our community discord with loads of helpful builds and guides down in the description below. But here's my recommendations for you to get started in PvP. Starting with the supports, we have the Bard. Now this is a great class because she doesn't have to commit very hard and can stay behind the team compared to the other supports, like Paladin for example, which suffers from a lack of super armors, which means you can get knocked around quite a bit. And then the Gun Lancer, where it's ideal to have quite a bit of class knowledge. Because of the hook and chain burst cannon combo, you need to know when it's best to use it to interrupt the other classes effectively. The class also suffers from being quite slow. Bard on the other hand allows you to play much more safely and passively behind your team while still being super effective in PvP, offering your team shields, heals, damage reductions and CC immunity, which can completely change the outcome in the arena. She also has some nice CC skills to control your opponents on the battlefield, as well as great stagger immunity and a great amount of super armors in her kit, making it actually quite hard to pin down. So if you're looking for a support class that is often referred to as S tier in PvP by top ranking players around the world, then Bard is a perfect choice to get you started. For the melee classes, there's a few choices and I'll start with the Deathblade. This class offers a huge amount of protected skills with super armors and stagger immunity, meaning it's very hard for other classes to lock a Deathblade down. Combine that with lingering skills that can catch people out and knock them up and a great amount of mobility, honestly you can't go wrong with this class as a great melee choice. On top of this, she has access to a really fast stun to lock people down, making it easy to land your combos and combine that with huge burst damage. This makes the Deathblade a force to be reckoned with in all tiers of PvP and she is often referred to as A or S tier in PvP by top players. I really think that Deathblade will sit really well with a huge range of new players and I highly recommend giving it a go in PvP if you're after a melee class. It's also a class that you can play defensively and offensively, so if you have someone like a summoner on your team, because of your lingering skills and your quick engages, you can easily peel for her, allowing her to get tons of damage off, while also being able to do loads of damage yourself. So a melee class that's quite quick, has fantastic protection on her skills, great burst damage and mobility it's a great choice for anyone who wants to play an assassin type class the next melee class is the berserker now this is a class that will not only have you doing huge damage with his skills but also allow you more opportunities in matches to observe and learn because the class does suffer a bit with long cooldowns as well as mana issues which means you'll have times where you don't want to engage, allowing you to focus on what's going on around you, giving you a really good learning opportunity. However, the class is one of the hardest hitting in PvP, and the Berserker has great protections and super armors in his kit, especially on his big damage skills, making those very hard to interrupt, and also having huge hitboxes, which can quite often hit and hard CC multiple people with one skill if they're remotely close to one another. The Berserker's kit is pretty simple. You have some mobility and your huge hit boxes and you'll be trying to land your hard CCs and then do some massive damage before backing off to let your cooldowns reset and try again so you'll be able to pick up his rotation pretty easily. On top of this, as well as being hard to interrupt, this is why I think the Berserker will be a great choice for beginners. Another melee class I think will be quite good, but unfortunately won't be out at release for NA and EU at the time of making this video, is the Destroyer. This warrior class has a huge amount of protections, nearly all of his skills in his kit have super armor, meaning that for newer players you'll be able to charge in and get your damage off while being extremely hard to interrupt and stop. On top of that, the hitboxes for the Destroyer are absolutely massive, making it much easier to hit your skills when compared to someone like a War Dancer who has small hitboxes and basically zero super armors. With all of this, the Destroyer also has a skill that gives him a shield, making him fully immune to knockups, and he also takes 90% reduced damage for 8 seconds, which is basically a god mode skill in PvP, allowing you to do pretty much whatever you want unless you get hard CC'd, and this will be absolutely fantastic for the newer players. The main issue with Destroyer though is he is a bit slow, and while you do have mobility and gap closing skills, they do have a bit of a wind-up time, so you have to get used to trying to predict who you 
your opponent's R to try and catch them. An all round solid class that's extremely tanky and very hard to stop, I think the destroyer will sit very well with new players when it does come to our servers. Moving to the ranged DPS classes, the Summoner is also a great choice for new players. One of the best things about the Summoner is her absolutely massive AoE hitboxes and her long range. Throwing out Phoenixes from her identity skills not only hits really hard and sets your opponents on fire, it's also one of the easiest skills in the game to hit multiple people with, which can skyrocket her damage. Because of a simpler playstyle and skills like this, the summoner has the potential to be the single highest damaging class in PvP out of all of the classes in the game and is often referred to because of this as S tier by a lot of the world leading PvPers. The fact that you also have pets which you can also hard CC your opponents and be very disruptive too is also really good. She does suffer a little bit with a lack of super armors and low mobility but you do have access to a self shield which is really strong in PvP so you have to get used to trying to avoid the melee rushdown classes best you can and playing with your team but if you're left free cast you'll be seeing absolutely massive damage numbers at the post match screen. So if you're after a ranged caster class that's got a more simpler playstyle and absolutely insane damage potential then consider playing the summoner. The last class in my beginner friendly classes for pvp is the artillerist. This is a medium range dps class that plays very well at being defensive making you very difficult to be engaged on. Again with a simpler playstyle your main focus will be to try and catch people with your insane and undodgeable nuke combo dealing massive damage to a very big area. Being a more defensive class you have access to a really nice self shield giving you great protections and super armor as well as a nice skill gatling gun to be able to hard stagger people and catch them out for your combo while also being protected yourself. Again the class doesn't have the best mobility but the combination of insane damage, big aoe's and a simplistic play playstyle that favours defence. This makes the Artillerist a solid choice for a ranged class for beginners. So if you wanted a tanky ranged class that has access to a self shield and a huge combo which isn't too hard to learn then I recommend giving the Artillerist a try. Right so a massive thank you to all the content creators that have allowed me to use their footage and a huge shout out as well to the community that have submitted some PvP footage for this video. You guys are absolute heroes thank you so much links to everyone will be down below and remember i do stream right here on the channel as well as on twitch so link for that will be in the description as well as the community discord with loads of helpful builds and guides so that's all in the description below if you like the video remember to give it a like and subscribe and until the next one guys i hope you at least learned something and i also hope you have a very nice day see you now